What is going on everybody, it's Cold Tide Tape, you guys bringing you the best way to level up in Call of Duty World War 2. Our team was the first to Master Prestige, so I think we know a little bit about this topic. We were able to achieve Master Prestige in about 4 days playing time, so with double XP, that's going to allow you to do it in about 2 days playing time. It's double XP this weekend, and we also have 50 extra double XP codes that were unused, so just leave a like and a comment. Honestly, I think we're just going to reply to people in the comments because there's so many to give away. We don't have to try to contact you privately. So you could just kind of stock the comments or you could wait for the notification when we reply to your comment either way So that's what we're gonna do. We've got 50 of them like I said, but anyways, let's get right into the video So as I was saying, we were the first to hit Prestige Master in Call of Duty World War II. Thank you to everyone who supported us throughout our stream. We actually have a stream going 24-7, going all the way to level 1000, and you guys will see how us level up fast there too. But anyways, the first thing you want to focus on is the game mode you're playing. And there is a ton of debate around what the best game mode is. Some people say War, some people say SND, some people say Hardcore TDM, some people say Hardpoint. Like, there's a lot of different options out there. And everybody is like super convinced that their option is the best. And after everything is said and done, I honestly believe that Hardcore TDM is the best to level up overall. Now, I'll just give a quick explanation as to why. I don't think War is good because some of the maps just aren't that great. And sometimes it's just a real pain to be able to get to the objective and all that. There is like kind of an exploit, which I'm not sure if they patch because the people doing it got reset. So I would just be careful about doing it if you decide to. But basically in War, if you just like build and destroy the walls at like certain checkpoints or whatever, you'll earn a lot of score, which in turn gives you a lot of exploit but if you're playing war like normally it's such a long game mode and yeah it, it's all right it's not going to be horrible for xp but i do not think it's your best bet snd you do get a lot of xp per kill it does seem really good but you have to be like pretty darn consistent at it like you have to be dropping 10 kills with a couple plants and diffuses every game to make it worth it and if snd is your thing and you're really good at it sure stick with it it's probably pretty good for you but i think for the vast majority of people it's going to be hard for them to drop 10 plus kills a game and now let me just give you a quick summary of why hardcore tdm is the best basically you're just straight up killing people faster so that's going to help you a lot the tdm games are filled with newer players so it's not as sweaty as some of the other game modes like maybe a hard point or dom or something like that so you can get more kills easier even for just like the average player it's not going to be as much of a struggle to get kills and the games end relatively quickly so you're constantly getting that match bonus you're constantly able to change your classes and go for those next challenges which kind of leads me to the next tip for leveling up fast that we did when we were first starting you know we, we were playing hard point we were trying dom we were trying basically everything to see what was the best because it wasn't super clear and like the xp just did not seem consistent in objective game mode so when, but when we went to tdm the xp seemed pretty consistent you know it was still a good amount the games ended quickly and you're know, getting that match bonus you're able to toy with the other guns and stuff like that and i know for me personally when it was my shift on the account like i was using every gun imaginable like i used pretty much all the lmgs for the team i was using shotguns and stuff like that and all of these guns are just much easier to use in hardcore like all the LMGs are practically a one shot at any range. The shotguns, obviously, you're not going to be getting too many hit markers, but I obviously only want to use them like point to hawk and like the small maps. And you guys will see the reason that this might be better than SND just overall, even if you're good at SND, is there are marksman challenges for the weapons where you have to get 500 kills. There's four tiers, but the last tier is 500 kills and you get 5,000 XP. And obviously, you're not going to be getting that many kills in SND. So by playing hardcore TDM, you're able to actually complete these challenges. And also while you're completing these challenges, you want to be prestiging your weapon because every time you unlock a new attachment or level it up or whatever, you're getting more XP for that. And you're able to prestige a weapon two times. So make sure you're paying attention after every game to prestige that weapon and just max out every weapon you can. And by the time you max it out, you're pretty much going to be near that 500 kill mark anyway. So it kind of works out like perfectly for you. Also on top of that in hardcore, it's a lot easier to get the headshot challenges, obviously, because it's going to be a one shot headshot with practically any weapon weapon and you can use the pistols easier so it allows you to do like the 500 kill pistol challenge easier allows you to use all the three different pistols really easily and get the challenges for that prestigium and all that and i would say the only weapons that aren't favorable for hardcore are the bolt action rifles so that the carabin's like a semi-auto but every other rifle's bolt action so if you're really into sniping and you want to finish off those challenges then maybe you can do that in core you, you could try even war or tdm whatever your favorite is for that whatever you think you get the most kills but for every other single weapon I 
would say that hardcore is your best bet. It's just easier, you know. It's easier to get the challenges. Easier to use a variety of weapons if you're not used to them. And maybe in hardcore you'll find yourself struggling because you feel like people don't move around too much or whatever. But you really just got to get a hang of the maps and kind of figure out where the main spawn points are. Which kind of leads me into the next topic, which is the score streaks you want to use. Obviously, in hardcore, the UAV is the most important thing by far. If you're not using UAV, I'm sorry to tell you, you are lost because information is key in this. Not very many people use the mountain division, which keeps you off the radar. So the UAV is going to be giving you a huge help when getting kills. Like if you can just cycle that UAV around somewhat often, it's going to give you a huge advantage over the other team. And I would say my key to playing like hardcore TDM is getting map control and pushing them in their spawn and then being able to kill them quickly out of their spawn. That's how you're going to get the most kills most efficiently. And if you watch like any like good game playing hardcore TDM, you'll see exactly what I mean. But continuing on with the score streaks, obviously there are score streak challenges which you can go for. The higher ones are kind of a struggle. Like if you're not great at TDM or not great at hardcore TDM or whatever, then maybe it's not worth going for the super high ones. I know mostly my go-to setup was UAV or recon aircraft, fighter pilot and glide bomb. They're all pretty low score streaks. You can cycle them around easily and they don't take a ton of time to call in and use. And you might have had a bad experience with the fighter pilot in the beta. It wasn't too, it's not too strong in core, but in hardcore, I would say you're guaranteed at least two kills every time you use it. The glide bomb, I'd say you're guaranteed at least one, but I would also suggest if you're kind of on a roll or whatever and you have the UAV up, you want to be using that to get gun kills. Like it's, it's way better to run around and get gun kills in my opinion than using the score streaks. I would wait to use these score streaks until you die and then use them to clear them out of the middle of the map and get map control back as well as get an idea of where everyone is on the map. So if you get bored using those streaks or you want to go for the challenge using the other ones, you can do that. But I would say these three streaks should be your go-to once you're done with everything or you just want a solid setup to just stick with the entire time. So I would say those are the main tips you want to keep in mind if you're trying to level up fast. Now we'll go into a little bit of more specifics of like little things that may help you. First of all, there are orders from Major Howard that you can pick up when you go to the HQ or whatever. And he has some orders where you can get like 25% bonus XP, bonus weapon XP. You can get armory credits, which will come in handy later as you guys will see in a second. You can get even just supply drops, which out of the supply drops, you can get XP bonuses for various things. And these orders are completely free. They have daily and weekly orders that you can pick up. So you may as well pick them up like you don't lose anything. And most of the time, they're not too difficult. Obviously, you can determine whether or not it's worth your time to complete. But like I said, a lot of them are pretty easy anyway. Next thing that we didn't really use, which I think we should have, are the contracts from the Quartermaster. So you guys will see it, it does take armory credits, which are not easy to get. Basically, you get armory credits from duplicate items out of supply drops and, and like completing the orders and small things like that. But there are actually like just straight up XP bonus rewards and supply drop rewards for completing the contracts. And it's up to you whether or not like you care about completing the collections or there's like something specific you want to purchase with the armory credits but like the best thing you're really gonna get out of a collection is like a an epic weapon that gives you 10 percent bonus xp and you're gonna be using a lot of weapons anyway so i don't think it's really worth it to spend all of your armory credits to get one single weapon unless you're just that type of player that really only likes to use one weapon because also to be honest there's really nothing in supply drops that's like that great that i would want to save up my armory credits for so ultimately it's really up to you to decide whether or not you'd like to use the armory credits to level up faster or kind of collect the items that you want in the game and also a little tidbit I should have mentioned previously when I was talking about prestiging the weapons is doing your divisions and kind of completing those challenges because when you complete like a division fully or you complete all the challenges for that division I should say you get a 10,000 XP bonus and I would say maybe the most difficult one is doing the infantry just because you have to get a lot of bayonet charge kills but if you're consciously going for them like you know when you're turning corners and stuff like that when you use infantry it won't be too bad to do and also prestiging your divisions is good because once you prestige each one once you're able to get the v2 rocket which is kind of fun to go for and there's some secret that you unlock when you max prestige all the divisions that i don't think anybody's figured out yet but you know whenever people do find it out you're probably gonna want it so using a variety of divisions and prestiging them will be in your best interest as well one final little tiny tip is shooting things in the firing range i know you get a tiny amount of xp for doing it and most of the time it's probably not worth it because you're going to be busy changing your classes in between games and stuff but i guess if you have absolutely nothing to do while you're waiting for a game you can go the firing range and get a tiny bit of bonus xp so that basically sums it up guys obviously we got to prestige master in about four days playing time so with double xp you can get it in two days playing time if you do everything that i talked about in the video so i'll recap it one last time for you you want to play hardcore tdm use uav 
fighter, pilot, and glide bomb. You want to use all the weapons you possibly can. Do all the challenges, the marksman challenges. You even get challenges for using red dots on some of the weapons. Make sure to prestige your weapons. Make sure to level up all the divisions. Make sure to do all the challenges. As soon as you prestige, you even get additional challenges. So you can do all the challenges for the different basic trainings and all that type of stuff. All the lethals, tacticals, perks, you know, all that type of stuff. Make sure to get the free orders. Decide whether or not you want to do the contracts. And make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for a chance to get some double xp codes they'll be in the comments thank you guys so much for watching the video make sure to be ready in the comments to redeem those double xp codes on calldudy.com and i will talk to you guys soon with another video all right peace out